In this lecture, we're going to walk you through the fundamentals of how the ultrasound machine works. Great images are a prerequisite for a safe and successful cannulation. Try not to compromise on your comfort, because that in turn compromises patient safety. Always place the ultrasound machine in front of you, so you can shift your gaze from your hands to the screen and back without getting disoriented, and raise the patient to a height that is comfortable for you. Now you need to choose a probe, but all probes are not created equal and they all come with trade-offs. You're probably familiar with the linear probe. It's found on almost all machines. It offers a high resolution picture, but is usually limited in how deep it can see. It's generally a solid choice. The hockey stick is just a smaller linear probe with even higher resolution but shallower reach. It's mainly useful for juggle lines. Now Ludwig Wittgenstein wrote that one can't see into another's heart, but he clearly didn't have access to a microconvex probe. These beauties are perfect for central lines. The resolution is okay, but they can see much deeper compared to the linear probe, and they have a really small footprint. These properties allow for the amazing supraclavicular fossa view as described by Kim and colleagues. We visualize and place the guide wire into the desired location in real time. Sometimes you can pull this off with a linear probe, but not as easily. The microconvex probe takes some getting used to. When we teach this, we see that trainees often lose their orientation due to unintentional rotation of the probe. A firm, comfortable grip and resting your wrist against the patient's shoulder will help you overcome this. Next, familiarize yourself with the ultrasound machine settings. Start by choosing the right preset. There's probably one called vascular or venous. For manual tweaking, use depth, gain and focus, and possibly frequency. Depth, well, it does what it says. Use the lowest possible setting that is needed to see the vein, as this gives the best resolution. With gain, well, this adjusts the signal to noise ratio. Basically, if you increase it, you can see your cannula better at the price of more noise. You need to find a sweet spot where both the cannula and the surrounding structures are clearly visible. Focus determines the depth where you achieve the best resolution. If this feature is available, set it to where the action is, usually in the middle of the vein. Frequency is probably determined by the machine based on your depth settings. High frequencies give a great resolution at the cost of depth. Low frequency, vice versa. In conclusion, get to know your ultrasound machine and learn how to master the probe, as these are prerequisites for becoming a central line expert.